Have you ever heard the saying, my home is my castle? This idea goes back to England in the early 1600s, and it meant that the king's agents had to respect even the poorest person's cottage as if it were a castle. He had to ask permission to enter. Today, you might hear this idea also called a right to privacy. It means there are limits to where the government can go and what it can do. Before the Revolutionary War, the American colonists objected to British practices that threatened their private property. One problem was quartering of troops, or being forced to provide food and housing for the British Army. In 1770, such a law led to a confrontation in Boston with British troops, in which five colonists were killed. Among these was Crispus Attucks, a mixed-race American who was the first known person to give his life for the American Revolution. Another problem was general warrants, orders that allowed government officials to search anywhere they liked for anything that might be illegal. In 1791, when the Bill of Rights was added to the U.S. Constitution, the Third Amendment protected private homes from being used to quarter troops in peacetime without the owner's permission. And the Fourth Amendment limited unreasonable searches and seizures of a person, their records, and their homes. It also said that a warrant, or a court order to arrest someone or search their property, must have probable cause, a good reason that a specific person may have committed a crime. One of the biggest issues about the Fourth Amendment was if it applied to wiretapping, where the government records communications outside the home. The Supreme Court has ruled that it does, so a warrant is required if the government wants to listen in on your electronic devices. And if the police want copies of your phone records, they must get a warrant to force the phone company to turn them over. The Supreme Court has also used the Third and Fourth Amendments to protect the right to privacy or personal freedom from government authority. This right is not specifically mentioned in the Constitution. How far that right goes is still being debated today. What might happen if the government was allowed to search anyone, anytime, anywhere? 